What is going on YouTube? Today we're doing a pretty simple video. Um, I thought this might be handy for the people that have been lifting, you know, three to six months and, um, you know, kind of want to know what to have on hand to go and like step their workouts up and things like that. So if you're like intermediate, advanced lifter, you probably got all this stuff anyway or know all about it. But, you know, there might be one or two things that I have in my bag or the gym essentials you should have in your bag. Uh, you know, I might open your eyes to one or two things. So, we're just going to run through it. It's going to be quick. Um, and just to update to, I did start a series, kind of, the other day called Bigger, Faster, Stronger. So, that's what I'm going to call any series I do where I'm trying to, you know, get bigger, faster, stronger, like in a bulk surplus of calories and things like that. But that won't continue for now because I'm actually two weeks into a cutting prep. So, just as I start that, like a week after, um... You know, I decided to prep for a show in September, but I don't want to make a cutting series just because um, it's going to be hard to, one, get there, and, you know, so I don't know if I'm actually going to be on stage, but anyway, I'm going to prep as long as I can, push my body, um, see, like, I've never gone to, like, stupid, stupid low body fat, so that's the goal, and if I come in ready, like, like the stars align, I, uh, you know, entered for the show, well then I entered for the show and I compete as well, so, you know, hit two birds with one stone, because I do want to get on stage at least a few times, you know, in my career, I guess you'd call it, so, let's set the camera up here, I'm just going to sit down, and we're just going to go through, oh, see that, let's go through what is in this bag right here, as you can see, it's not huge, uh, enough to just carry around wherever I go, because I actually have it on me at all times, really, if I get in the car and drive anywhere, because you never know when a workout is going to come up. Like you might be with a friend, he's like, yo, he's going to hit some legs or something, and just out of nowhere. So you got to be, got to be prepared for these things. And because of that, um, I normally have like a change of clothes or something. So I've got my AA Quiesthetics shirt, um, you know, just in case I want to take some photos or represent it. You know, they send me some tops here and there. So pretty cool brand, check it out. Also have trackies. I think they call it trackies in America, we call them trackies, sweatpants, and a jumper or a hoodie. Now this is because, first of all, it's winter here in Australia, and you know, that goes enough to say you know, why you need it, because it's always cold outside, but also like, I, I think if you can fit it in your bag, you should have that, because um, if you rock up to a gym and it's cold, you know, your joints aren't you know, fully warmed up and things like that, especially the older you get, you can do some damage. So. You rock up to the gym, say it's cold, chuck your, your uh, sweatpants and sweater on <laughs> and uh, then, you know, warm up properly and then you can take them off and jump into your workout. Or if it's just cold, chuck them on and you're set. So, we got that. That pretty much covers the clothing, except, for some reason, I don't know why I put them in there, but we got a pair of undies, bro. You've got to be prepared at all times. You never know when you're going to need a pair of undies, so that's in there too. I don't know why really, I just, it was in there. Uh, I quickly went through things before we started this video. Of course the tower, a lot of the uh, pussy-fired gyms as Carly Muscle would say, say like you can't even train here in Australia without a tower, so um, always gonna have one of them in there. And if you ever hit like heavy legs, maybe sweat a lot, of course, need a tower, so there's that. Now I'm going to the sup, so this is pretty much the only supplements I recommend. Of course there's a lot more, um, I can, you know what, I'll, go, I'll make a video about that, the supplements I use and what I recommend and uh, what you can get if, you know, you have a bit of money to spend here and there, you want to, you know, like really just have top of line sups, everything that will help, so, but all I have in my bag is actually two pre-workouts, now this one's actually pretty much empty, but Hyde has a, a lot of caffeine, it's insane pre-workout, but it's with 300 milligrams of caffeine, too much, honestly. Uh, you don't want to be having that all the time, especially if you're doing a late night workout. So my go-to at the moment is gold standard. Uh, green apple flavor is really good. Blue raspberry is super good as well. 175 milligrams per scoop of caffeine. Beta alanine, things like that. Really versatile pre-workout, this one. Uh, that's my go-to at the moment. And I recommend you have one in your bag because you never know, like I said, when a workout is just going to come up or you feel like it or you've got an hour to spend, you know, things like that if you're out in the town. So, pre-workout on deck, if you use it, of course. Uh, some people don't, really, don't use it at all, so whatever floats your boat. I always have a scoop of Venom Protein, and it's just one scoop, 
two scoops from bulking, bulking, one scoop if I'm cutting, just to get something in after a workout, as well as a scoop of creatine in there to help my strength. Um, this one will be filled with water so I can put in my pre-workout or then also use it for my Gatorade if I need it throughout the workout. Now, or you can use that um, BCAs, but they're expensive. I just have Gatorade on hand because sometimes if I push really hard, I actually nearly pass out. Um, it's just because, you know, body can't release enough uh, glucose from muscles, energy, something like that. I went and talked to the doctor about it. He just said, if you have some type of quick releasing sugar in your body, it will help a lot. So this actually does help a lot. Or I have some like Allen snakes, but I try to stay away from them as much as possible, especially if I'm cutting. Um, obviously because it's extra calories I don't really need. So that is all for the supplements as well as my water, of course. As you see, we're getting through the bags, hardly anything left. I'll sit up here about that. Okay, then we also have antiperspirant deodorant. I must use antiperspirant. It stops you sweating, obviously. We've got the headphones. Then we have the can of tuna because you never know when you're going to be hungry and stuck out in the middle of nowhere with no food to get. You're keeping calories up if you don't want to lose any muscle. Really good source of protein, easy to eat, can, it doesn't go off, you know, things like that. So I have one of them in my bag. <laughs> and then only a few things left. Cologne, um, you know, just to up the ante on the smell a bit. Have my Anytime Pass and also my wallet in here because I actually have a, I can't get it out, a Good Life Pass as well. So I have two memberships here in Adelaide. And I also have another gym membership, actually I think it's just about to expire, back in my hometown of, my home state of Victoria. So three memberships total for different gyms right now. Uh, you know, a bit harsh on the wallet, but you've got to do what you've got to do. They have lifting straps. <coughs> I have this one. I literally, where's the other? I literally just got these off uh, eBay, I'm pretty sure. They're the ones where you help with deadlifts and things like that. So you wrap around your wrist, pull it tight if you've never used them before. And then you can wrap that around the bar, only one layer, and twist and pull. And this will take the weight um, you know, off your forearm grip and things like that, help you do some heavy deads, all types of rowing exercises. I also have another pair, I can't get it off now. Also have another pair. You can use these as, um, as the same strap thing. But this one is more of a wrist support. So you wrap it around, you know, zip it up, and then you also have your uh, strap you can twist around. But I don't use it for that, just for wrist support when I'm benching, things like that, if I'm going for a real heavy weight. But it's kind of weird. You gotta watch you don't have them too tight. It kind of like pulls your joint apart, and then when you push with the bar on it, it can hurt your uh, wrist a little bit, I've found. So only when I go super heavy. We then have a pen, a pair of chewies, tape measure because you never know when you have to test or check how big that bicep pump of yours is bro and that is I guess some random coins and shit and chewies another pair of chewies that's it that is what's in my gym bag a gym bag pretty simple um, but I feel like that covers the essentials let me know in the comments below if you have um, you know, anything else in your bag that I should put in mine, we can help each other out. Hopefully, you know, you saw one of these and go like, oh, maybe I should put that in my bag too. Like, something like the Gatorade really helps. Um, just to get those, get those electric electrolytes in throughout a workout can, you know, stop you from getting fatigued, maybe let you push a little bit harder, all that stuff. So, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in a video coming soon.